Let's start with the one thing Vladimir Putin has done to unite Washington. Democrats and Republicans want to be on his sanctions list. They're bragging about it. Mary Landrieu, a Democratic senator in a tough re-election campaign, says being sanctioned by President Putin is a badge of honor. John McCain says, I guess this means my spring break in Siberia is off. My Gazprom stock is lost and my secret bank account in Moscow is frozen. Uh, a lot of fun with this bill, but beneath this is a serious question. Uh, a lot of people believe Crimea is lost and the United States Congress and the Obama White House have not been able to agree on a sanctions and an aid package. Uh, should they stop laughing and get working? Yeah, I mean, this tweeting is fine for one day, but as uh, Crimea looks like it's lost, Putin thinks he's won. And the question is, can we secure Ukraine? Can we win Ukraine at the price, perhaps, of losing Crimea? There are serious things that have to be done, including a much bigger ramping up of the sanctions, I would say. Also, you know, things, military relationships with NATO countries around Russia, possibly deploying ground troops. We have an editorial in the Weekly Standard this week saying that should not be ruled out to Ukraine. A couple of brigades atop the, across the two roads that go from Ukraine to Crimea would probably secure Ukraine. It wouldn't be a crazy thing to do. But, of course, no one in Washington wants to talk about ground troops. So, yeah, I agree. They should be a little less cute with the tweeting and a little more serious about uh, doing some stuff that would help us fight, push back against Putin. The, the president but was pretty clear this week in taking that ground troop idea. He took that off the table. He said we're not going to have a military excursion in the Ukraine. Absolutely. And, I mean, when, this is the best thing that's happened to Mary Landrieu in weeks. Right? right. I mean, she can go home and tell her constituents that she's on Putin's list and she's going to have a hearing next week on energy exports. I mean, it's a great issue for her to talk about at the domestic level rather than focusing on, you know, military maneuvering over there. But, but, but on May's point there, I mean, she can have a hearing on energy exports. She's chairman of the committee now, right? Yeah, right. So are Unless they going to the pass legislation? Going are we going to liberate Europe from dependence on Gazprom? I mean, I think there's, there are real issues here and there's a little too much posturing going on in Washington and a little too little seriousness about a real uh, crisis in the world. A lot know? of talking when well, we could use some action. You mentioned Mary Landrieu. She wants to talk about this because health care is a huge issue in her race. She's being hammered by Republicans for supporting Obamacare.